Well, welcome back. It's a hot topic across the country. And now here at home, we're talking about medical marijuana. And tonight we're hearing from the Spartanburg lawmaker pushing to legalize medical marijuana here in the Palmetto State. Right, and Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer joins us live in Spartanburg tonight. So, Brooklyn, tell us more about the medical marijuana bill and why this lawmaker is proposing it. Well, Representative Henderson Myers says her main objective is really to help people in our state. She says that medical marijuana can help treat people with terminal illnesses or people suffering from serious diseases. And she says for her, it's also a deeply personal issue as well. South Carolina could be one step closer to legalizing medical marijuana. Spartanburg Representative Rosalind Henderson Myers has co-filed a bill which would make it legal for some patients to use the drug under a doctor's supervision. This is not uh, a recreational marijuana bill. Um, it's a uh, medical marijuana bill only for serious medical conditions. Representative Henderson Myers says the bill aims to treat people who are battling grave conditions and serious pain problems. Epilepsy, um, multiple sclerosis, cancer, terminal illness. Representative Henderson Myers can also relate. She says her own experience as a breast cancer survivor helped shape this bill. When I was going through chemotherapy, um, I lost a, a tremendous amount of weight and I couldn't eat. Uh, I was very nauseous. My doctor prescribed Marinol, which is a synthetic form of THC. Um, and so, uh, because of that, I was able to get through the chemotherapy. And if passed, this bill would make it legal for patients and caregivers to have marijuana in their possession. Medical marijuana would be prescribed by a doctor and distributed through marijuana dispensaries. Patients could not vape or smoke marijuana, and it would be regulated by SLED and DHEC. It's something where, you know, the doctor has to be held accountable, the patient has to be held accountable, and the um, organization that dispenses and sells uh, and manufacturers has to be accountable too. But not everyone believes medical marijuana is the answer, at least not yet. It needs to be treated as any other medication. It needs to go through the same protocols and procedures through the FDA. We need to have clinical trials. We need to have human testing. We need to understand the impacts of this plant. Joe Pania is the director of prevention at the Forrester Center for Behavioral Health. He says more research needs to be done before the drug is legalized and regulated. We have no idea what the long-term ramifications are going to be on the human brain, on the body. And Representative Henderson Myers says medical marijuana is a safer alternative to opiates, and she believes this could also help combat the opioid epidemic as well. Cody and Diana. Brooklyn, how would patients actually go about getting the medical marijuana? Well, after their doctor approved them for treatment, they would be issued an ID card from DHEC, and then at that point, they could get the medical marijuana from a marijuana dispensary. Live in Spartanburg, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.